Welcome to Wednesdays with Wayne, and it's this beautiful fall day. I've gotten a slight bit behind on my chores for fall as I'm just recovering about five weeks after bilateral hip replacement. So I've got a lot on my agenda. Uh, it's very important at this time of the year to get all of your plants planted. You can kind of see my pile of stuff here yet. Um, not all of this stuff is going in the ground, but super important to get this stuff into the ground right now. We want to get things rooted especially when it comes to perennials. We want to get those perennials in by the end of October, 1st of November. Same thing with those ornamental grasses. You've got a lot more time with shrubs and trees. You would have all the way to Thanksgiving time. And again, remember, after you plant, make sure that you do water everything in and continue that watering on a weekly basis all the way up to Thanksgiving, unless we have supplemental rainfall. Just did some work on the lawn. Again, I'm a little bit behind. I should have had the first September fertilization. High nitrogen for the fall. Uh, Phosphorus-free fertilizer because I live on the lake. Uh, just got done doing a fertilization of the lawn. Again, a little bit late. Also put one on about Thanksgiving time, about mid to end of November. This is gonna make the grass grow like crazy in April and May when the season breaks. I will not fertilize in the spring. I simply do it in the fall. If you notice in the background, I'm doing a lot of watering right now. So important. We are so far behind in our watering schedule. Um, the rainfall has been just almost non-existent for nearly two months. Again, plants like about an inch of water a week. The reason I'm watering even existing plant material is because it's gonna help it get through the hardiness of the winter time. So that is extremely important to keep watering and especially if we don't get any rainfall. Uh, do it all the way up through Thanksgiving time again. Our nighttime temperatures continue to get colder. We've got a few nights that were in the mid to upper 30s. You can kind of see the sun patients now are starting to show the effects of those cooler temperatures. As soon as we get a heavy frost, uh, that's gonna end the annual season. You can see how tired these beds are looking. These are some of the moonflowers that were in my beds. And we're gonna start cleaning these up. Alexis is helping me today. And we're getting rid of some of these and getting a little bit of a head start on our fall maintenance. There's a bunch of helenium in this bed as well. And here you can see whenever there's a perennial with basal foliage like this, it's a great idea just to cut it off right above that basal foliage. And that basal foliage will be a little bit of protection for the winter time. You can see there's a few weeds in the bed as well. And we're gonna be pulling those out so that those will not be a problem in the early spring. Super important that some of our shrubs and grasses we're going to leave up for winter interest so i would not be cutting a lot of this stuff back yet again i'll give you maybe another maintenance video as we get a little further along maybe in a month from now notice i did cut quite a bit of stuff down through here this happens to be persicaria which is um, a little bit unusual perennial it seeds and causes quite havoc if it spreads all over the place but look at all the hostas i am not going to cut these hostas back yet because we want all the carbohydrates to go back into the ground. So I'm gonna wait till a super heavy frost and let them die totally back. It's gonna be easily another month before I would cut back hostas. And as you look at this bed, you've got a little clip that we showed you in the process of this, but we've cleaned up a little bit here. Again, this is mostly annuals, as well as some perennials that have died back to the basal foliage. All the tops were dead but we're doing this final cleanup in through here. And again, this will continue over the next few weeks. So thank you for joining Wednesdays with Wayne, sponsored by Niemeyer's Landscape Supply. And remember, beautiful landscapes start here.